Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke, and I'm back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. You need to be quiet, because I'm trying not to wake up anyone else in the house. So, what are we going to do today? Well, today I wanted to look at some uh, replays I've done with a deck I've been using while I prepare for the next season. It is True Dracos. So let me show the deck real quick. This is what I've been using in it. If you don't know what True Dracos are, basically... They contribute summon using continuous magic and traps, and these are their magics and traps. And you kind of want to summon them using these, because when these leave the graveyard, then you can target a spell trap and sometimes monster, depending on what card it is, um, and destroy anything on the field. But not only that, they have a lot of other um, good effects, like for the example, this one for each true Draco or true king card type sent from the field to the graveyard this turn you can draw which is crazy because sometimes you can easily draw three cards with this or even one card and it's continuous so you can do it every turn um, they have this field spell here um, it's a real fun deck I'll actually go into the duels and show it but I've been using it as I've been kind of preparing the next deck that I want to kind of try and get to platinum with and I chose this deck because it was a uh, very straightforward so oh no I don't have access to this one. There we go. These are all from today. Anyway, that's gonna be the video. I hope you like it. If you do feel free to leave a like. Or comment down below, tell me what deck you've been running. I've been running Drew Draco because it was pretty cheap. So, uh, this is pretty funny because here's what happens in this duel. I activate Pot of Duality. I reveal my three cards and my phone. <laughs> He eats the scoops. He doesn't want to deal with true Dracos at all. Um, we can see by his deck, he was playing XYZ, so he was 100% focused on the OTK, which is the double or nothing, I think. Is the double or nothing actually? Is he, is he running double or nothing? He is not running. There it is, double or nothing. He was running exchange? Why? I guess to give me a useless card. That's an interesting play in, huh? Anyway, this deck, this one for real. It's funny that he automatically gave up. I actually had a really good hand, so I was ready to lay waste. I'm gonna say because he didn't have a hand trap or anything, he just wasn't able to stop me, and he knew I was about to get some combos off. Okay, so let me hit this. I will pause occasionally. Here we go, activate your Draco. You can see I've already messed up a little bit, but that let me draw my card. Uh, he activates Pot Prosperity, and basically when any card effect activates, um, you can... There's two Dracos. This one lets you activate one of the two Draco trap cards and put him on the field automatically. This one does monsters, which is why I started with him in the front, and the two trap cards have this crazy combo um, that I think I'm going to show here, so I'll just continue on from here. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that um, the Dracos have an effect, so you can do a regular tribute summon for your normal summon and play him that way, but then this effect lets you tribute summon it as well, and then you can tribute anything on the field, usually. Um, I chose not to do it because I would prefer to have this card for drawing, but anyway, let's continue on. So we can see from here he's an Eldritch player. Uh, very problematic. <laughs> so that's why I activate this card. He was gonna destroy it, so I picked. I chose to get her from my hand. And you also notice I had another one face down. So yeah, I'll use her effect to get the third of the monsters in this heat. And he's going to set up his board. He's gonna do Eldritch stuff. <laughs> Now, Edlich is very annoying, because even though I have cards that destroy, he's immune to being destroyed, but he's not immune to effects. So, here's the combo with this card. This card can always bring back a true Draco or true King monster from your graveyard in defense position. Its effects are negated, and also for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon. Um, the reason its effects aren't negated is because it needs to be tributed to have its effect. That's the important part of the card. But anyway, 
this card makes it so you can just target one true Draco. Usually I use it for the monster, but you can actually use it for the matches and traps as well. Um, but with this combo, you can just infinitely keep lowering half of the attack in defense of your opponent's monsters. It's really, it's really funny. So there you go, I use that second effect to pop that. He's gonna use it to get his, and then I use a spell card. So, look at this crazy card advantage. I'm basically going one to one with the Uplitch. In terms of every time something on my field goes away, I get something in my field. So we're basically even right now. I think he's actually has advantage for now. I choose to get rid of that. Plays it. And I forget if I choose, yeah, I choose that to get another card. The reason is, is that I think I wanted to have at least three. He's gonna try and take this. Uh, and what I do is activate its effect, so I get to destroy it. And make that Outlitch even weaker. And I think for some reason he jumps to summon an Outlitch, and then I can activate his effect again. Seven chain combo, by the way. Look at all this advantage going on in the field. Yeah, look, 875 attack. And he gets three outlitches on the field. And then I get to turn those three to the deck and draw one card. And I get the special summon. Attack. So here's the thing, I was really afraid of him um basically um getting the XYZ monster, so I decided to just stop it at the curve here. I'm going to take one of my true Draco cards and um I'm gonna destroy his Elwitch to prevent it because I know we can only use Elwitch's effect once, so if you want to summon his, it's all big and strong. He thinks he's got me. He's got two of them, but I'm getting rid of them. So then he destroys my monster. And every time he activates an effect, I can activate an effect as well. It's really crazy. There's still a lot. This is a, the game could go to anyone at this point still. So I use Pond Duality, so I decide to do a skill drain. Toss him a thousand. He starts messing up a little bit. <laughs> I've noticed. So he's playing all these guys because he wants to start banishing my stuff. But it just doesn't work out for him because I want that. So yeah, he destroys my stuff, but it just doesn't matter to me. And at this point, I'm like basically GG. I draw the card I need, which is terraforming. He has no way to stop it. Yet then I can also destroy that skill drain, so he paid a thousand for nothing. I get dramatic uh, diagram, which is their field spell. He counters it, but it's fine. It's not the biggest. It's basically his last play. Because you'll notice after this turn, he's basically done. I have effectively shut down his elf witch. He can't do anything. He can't keep up with my pure card advantage. And a lot of Elf Witch players don't think run Harvey's Winter Duster. <laughs> I think the only thing that I am afraid of is... Let me see. Because... Just to check his deck. Just to see if they had it or not. Yeah, he wasn't running it, but there's a very specific card that... Absolutely devastates me. Let me see if I can find it. Mm, it's under a lose. Might be this. No? It's Mech Knights. Alright, let's see. Might be this. Yes. Is it this one right here? Goes in match. No, wait, not goes in match. Evenly matched. This absolutely devastates me. This and Zombie World stop everything that I want to do. Um, because as you can see there, I can very quickly gain advantage, but if you destroy the entire board, then I'm kind of done. Here's the last one play this game, I think it's fun. So this is against a uh, Dry Brigade deck. And I think this guy, he misplays a lot. You're gonna see it here. Not to talk any shit about him, because I misplay a bunch too. 
but I think the reason is is that he saw that I didn't have an extra deck and he thought it was going to be an easy win, so he kind of overextends himself, which you're going to see right here. He's going to summon him. Now most people would keep the cards in hand, but he doesn't for some reason. And the funny thing is, is that one of the cards he got rid of, I mean, was card destruction, which would have absolutely devastated me if he had used it, but he did. Um, I don't know, Tribal Gate is really good, see, then he gets a trap card, then he has to return to the deck. But anyway, Tribal Gate is really good, but if they don't have any gate, then they're basically dead on the field. And um, I have Vanity's Emptiness, which is going to stop special summoning, as long as I don't put a card on the board. And this is what I do to him, is that I summon. Boom. Saying, go ahead, it's your turn, let him get a bunch of monsters and stuff. He's ready to basically Wombo Combo me again, except for Boom, Vanity's Emptiness. He can't do anything. He can't special summon. And then I'm able to start building up my board. And without the ability to special summon, um, Tribricade is just useless. They're a bunch of dead cards. They may as well be dead cards. Like, he starts to get rid of like, traps because he has no monsters to get rid of. The great Maju Gazetti, that was like his one ray of hope. I think he was expecting me to eventually destroy this, but I read its effect. And I saw that if I destroyed it, then the battle phase is skipped. So I chose not to. Um, so basically at this point I just wait, yeah this is where I, I say it's game, so I get rid of my trap card, use that to get rid of that, I have enough damage, I have over 8,000, I'm just in tribute summoning these monsters over and over again. The great thing is that these tribute summons aren't normal summons as far as I'm aware because it does not count as special summons, and he's dead. That's the deck I've been using. I have an actual deck that I will actually be playing with pretty soon, now that the games are almost over. But I kind of wanted to show off what I've been doing with True Draco because um, as I was learning it, there was definitely some rough losses, as you can see here, these losses here, but I've also been gaining more wins and I've been able to stay in Platinum basically. And I think, yeah, I would have been able to go to tier, I think I would have been able to get to tier one with True Draco's. But that's neither here nor there. The one thing I'll say about the deck is that I think, like, even my version of it is not 100% because. See, like, I'm running tr Dimensional Fissure just because it's a really cheap continuous spell card that you use in Clutch, and if I don't use it as that, then I can use it as, like, a disruption for the enemy board. But something like Imperial Order might be just as good. Because, again, the good thing is, is that. Um, you can use Imperial Order, stop your opponent's spell cards, then tribute summon. Use your Imperial Order once it's served its purpose, and tribute it, and then just completely wreck shop. And just because your spells are negated, I don't think that means that you can't still set them on the field. I don't think it destroys them. It just stops them. Actually, I don't know. I don't actually. Negate all spell effects on the field. Yeah, it just negates them. So they'd still be able to be played, you just want to get the super good effects off of them. So again, it's kind of, yeah, it depends on how you want to go, but that's the deck. Till next time everyone, you guys have a good day, you have a good night, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.